Carmelos. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aquarius. Here's a temperance in the reverse, the hermit in the reverse, hmm, and the king of swords in the reverse with the hangman. I don't like this energy, and I'm not here to bring you anything weird or negative, but I have to just read what's coming out. I'm, this resonates with somebody. There's obviously a lot of energy here that's in the reverse with the hangman and the star, okay? I'm going to say for someone here, you need to be careful right now with your, your mind and your energy. This feels like a very sudden, like, attack, okay? Um, I know for myself, like I said, the, the energy has been very positive of lifting lately and that's usually when the enemy will try to attack you to try and pull your energy down you have the hierophant here so this could be um a leader this could be your energy as the hierophant you could be someone who has very you know high morals values um you could be very wise i don't know you know if you if you share your your journey with others but um You have the Knight of Cups in the reverse, the Temperance in the reverse, the Hermit in the reverse, the King of Swords in the reverse. Very strong masculine energy here. And then you have the Hangman and the Star. It really feels to me like someone here, there's an energy that's being sent towards you at this time that is to try and make you like sacrifice your own future here. Or you could be feeling unhappy because I'm telling you this, whatever this energy is, it, it was, it came about very suddenly. Okay. So you may find yourself feeling very Knight of Cups in the reverse, like moody all of a sudden. The Knight of Cups in the reverse and the Temperance in the reverse here. I don't know if someone is drinking or under the influence or... What or but but the temperance in the reverse here for some reason I feel like and the knight of cups in the reverse you may not be accepting an offer from someone or you rejected or denied someone this person could be like tampering with your energy at this time you need to be careful of because it's like you're you're feeling imbalanced this this thing's very specific you may suddenly start feeling very moody or imbalanced or. Let's say, for instance, if you if you if you know that you do enjoy um, something or someone, all of a sudden you don't like it, like your your energy, something, how you feel about a person or a situation, it just changes. I don't think that's your energy, though. Whoever this message is for, yeah, the hermit in the reverse. The hermit in the reverse could be you coming out of solitude or isolation. But it also could be like you just having social anxiety and completely withdrawing from society. It could be an excessive amount of solitude here. And the King of Swords in the reverse is a manipulative energy. There is somebody trying to manipulate your energy right now so that you will reject an offer with the hangman and the star here. So that you will start to feel like you're very unhappy with the situation. That there's whatever it's like, okay. Yeah. I feel like there's something promising coming for you. Just like I channeled earlier today. And there's the energy that has come in. This is like an evil eye energy that has come in. What did I just say? The four of wands. I knew it. I knew it. I fucking knew it. The hierophant and the four of wands. This is your energy. This is about a relationship or something. Somebody right now wants you to have a very negative outlook on a situation. If you are feeling very hopeful happy, you're healing, you're feeling inspired, 
a, a sense of renewal about a person, place, thing, situation, a project, there is an energy that just rushed in. And this is so that you will start to just feel like no emotions. You will start to, to operate out of fear or whatever. Somebody doesn't want you to receive something. I just saw the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So if you've been receiving like some kind of outpour of, of love, attention, affection, this is someone here. Someone, Ten of Swords, because you ended something with a person and they're feeling the pain of it, this person is now trying to, somebody is, is for sure projecting their energies onto you. Yeah, I'm hearing get a grip, get a grip. Yeah, look at that, seven of pentacles in the reverse. Nine of swords, yeah. I'm sorry, eight of swords. This is like someone wants you to suddenly just feel stuck. Like, like you're just cornered and you're powerless hopeless, in fear. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. This is like delays or something just not turning out the way that someone wanted. This has everything to do with a person honestly thought that they were going to get something from you or out of you, a particular outcome, and they didn't. No, they didn't. The Ace of Swords is in the reverse. This is creating conflict. Because somebody could not get something from you and they, they invested in this. Or somebody is upset that if, if this is a tactic that they've been using, it's not working the same. They're very upset about this. Yeah, the chariot. Because you're moving forward. You're moving forward. You're not allowing whatever this is to keep you stuck or trapped. Here's the ace of wands in the reverse. Yeah, you're not. The ace of wands and the ace of swords are both in the reverse here. You are not allowing somebody to, to spark something up with you. You're not working on this project, this idea, this relationship. You're not sharing your energy. You're not, you're not allowing someone to drain your energy here. Yeah, somebody wants to drain King of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Whoever this is, this person, they want to drain your energy so that they have a way to move forward. Two of Pentacles is here. This is somebody who is juggling and they're looking for a come up. They're looking for the Ace of Pentacles and you're not allowing this person to connect with you in this way. That's exactly what this is. Somebody is mad. There has been a shift to happen with you. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you've denied the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. You're not willing to be intimate with someone or you're not communicating with them. And this person is upset because they can't seem to get something out of you. This person is trying to manifest some type of um, new beginning or an opportunity. It definitely could be an opportunity in business or finances or, or some, some, I don't know, business finance, pentacles. It's an opportunity that somebody needs your energy to, to manifest. And they're being very sneaky and deceptive at how they're doing this. Yeah, the high priest is in reverse. This person doesn't want you to follow your intuition. They're trying to block, with the eight of swords out here, somebody wants to block your intuition about the, the direction that you're moving in at this time. They're doing, somebody's doing this like on purpose. Not the ones, yeah. Because they're struggling to achieve their goals. Nine of Wands, like this person is overwhelmed. They're they're ready to give up. Wow. And they're upset because the Four of Cups is here in the reverse and the Two of Cups is in the reverse. So this partnership didn't work out for some of you. It could be a business partnership or romantic the Four of Cups in the reverse. This person could be trying to rekindle or reconcile with you. Yeah, the Emperor. But the Ten of Pentacles is here in the reverse. This is somebody whose life has fallen apart and they really want to try to reconcile with you. This person is trying to get in your energy. This is this is extremely specific for, for somebody. It could be happening to a lot of people, of course. But I'm telling you what's happening here. 
you're going towards a new stable beginning, the offer of building a foundation. Like I said, it could be a relationship, business, whatever this is. Someone here is noticing this. Seven of Cups in the reverse. With the King of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, somebody has missed an opportunity here. Being very impulsive or arrogant. And this is leading to a lot of conflict here. Because they refuse to change. Now, judgment is being called on whoever this is. And you, the Queen of Pentacles is here with the Empress. You have your energy back. Judgment, Queen of Wands to the Empress. Nine of Pentacles. This person has to walk away, Eight of Cups. They have to accept this. The Five of Cups in reverse. What this? They have to accept failure. That's just that's it. Yes, they do. They have to accept failure that they could not. They could not trick you or whatever or steal something from you. They couldn't get it. Time has run out. Like whatever this situation is, it's not working the way this person thought. Mm -mm. You have here the Seven of Cups in the reverse, followed by the King of Wands in the reverse. This person was very um impulsive, very arrogant, overbearing here, was sending some type of chaos or conflict. Or, or like confusion energy to you because the eight of wands is here with the five of wands. This person could have traveled to you or they sent, like I said, this person just blasted you with some type of really nasty energy. The death card in the reverse. This is because you are not going to make a bad choice. You're, because you are refusing to repeat a cycle with somebody, they're blasting you with some type of negative energy, like this evil eye energy. And it's really, really strong here because judgment is here. And the judgment is you're the queen of pentacles. You have a lot of success or security coming. The queen of pentacles is here with the empress and the nine of pentacles. You're, you, this means right now that like when it comes to your pentacles, you're not playing around. And this person has been using your energy or your even your money for some of you. For them to have a come up and manifest off of you, they can't do that. This person is forced now, eight of cups, to walk away. They have to leave whatever this scheme or this scam, they have to leave that behind. And they have to grow up. This person has to leave you alone and grow up and just accept failure. Except that whatever they were trying to get out of you, they're not going to get it. This person comes in with a lot of false hope and broken promises. Seven of Pentacles. Look at this. This person was investing in something that was very dark. They, This person has been working with the devil. This person has, um, I don't know why I'm, I'm getting, so this is the Eight of Pentacles. I don't know why I thought it was the Seven of Pentacles. I don't use this deck often. This is the Eight of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles came out in the reverse already with the Ten of Swords. This person worked on something very, very hard, long and hard. They invested a lot with their Devil card here. This, this, this could be, somebody was addicted to doing something and to the point like they were addicted to trying to master something to like, to come in, to rush towards you with this 10 of cups. I feel like somebody was like very much, um, trying to master the art of seduction or, or trying to manipulate you or love bomb you or something like that. But the Queen of Swords is here. You're not buying this. You're like, no. You can recognize here. Look, the Page of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords in the verse and the Three of Swords. You already see this. This person has gotten caught in the act of doing something here. Ace of Cups in the reverse. This is not real love. And you know it. You know that something here is not fair. 
The justice card is in the reverse. You know that this is not fair and whatever this is, is going to lead to bad karma or this person is experiencing bad karma. That's the reason why they can't move forward. This person is two of wands in the reverse. They're experiencing a lot of blockages and delays. And it could be due to the fact that they took a leap of faith with this queen of wands in the reverse. Yeah, the fool, the lovers in the reverse. This person chose, this is somebody here, very specific message. I've said it again. This person chose somebody else and they're experiencing bad karma now. Because of the situation that they chose. Okay. This person is with a queen of wands in the reverse. It has very low self-esteem. They're very insecure, very jealous, very manipulative. Someone here chose that path. And now that you are moving forward, the tables have turned. This person is now trying to pull at your energy, like hard. I, th this person is like trying to break down your energetic door. You need to be very careful, it's, even like with um, telepathic communication or whatever. This person is addicted to doing something that's really dark and shady to try and get into your energy. Like they're desperate to get into your energy. I don't know what has happened, but someone is doing, I guess, like a temperature check on your energy. It, they're um, they're trespassing. It, it's an imposter. Okay. You could have been a person in the past where you had imposter syndrome. You weren't really comfortable with trusting your intuition or being like with the hierophant in a leadership role or something. And now because you're coming out of there, this person, they're trying to grab a hold of you and make you, um, like I said, really moody or feel bad or overwhelm you with these thoughts and feelings that will make you go into hiding or withdraw from society. It's a really nasty energy. And it's just because you're the star. This person wants you to have delays in being the star. They don't want you to heal or anything. This person wants you to take them back or accept them. Because now they are experiencing karma. They have to accept the fate of the, the life that they chose. You know, this is someone that could have walked away from you and they walked away or whatever happened. You didn't disturb their peace. Now that you have peace, here they come. They want to disturb you. No. And it's a really nasty energy. My nasty. And the seven of swords is here. The three of swords. I don't know if this person has caught their person cheating on them or something like that. But this person is very overwhelmed with just unhappiness and despair at this time. The ace of cups in the reverse with the page of pentacles, the seven of swords in the reverse and the three of swords. Absolutely. This is bad karma. Justice in the reverse. Ace of cups. In the, it's bad karma for this person. Of them feeling drained, them going through a breakup or a divorce. They could be getting bad news also about a child with the Ace of Cups being here in the reverse and the, the Page of Pentacles. Where someone here has gotten caught up in the act with, a, um, with the Three of Swords. For some of you, that's what happened with you and this person. For some of you, the deception, this person could have had a child with someone else. Or there could have been like a pregnancy or something that was hidden. And you may have made a decision to go towards your happiness. This person never stopped obsessing over you leaving them. So they, they just hide in your energy and they constantly attack you even though they made a decision to be with this person. This is someone, again, very specific. This person, for somebody out here, this person has had a child with someone else. And it could have been even a person that they were seeing during the time that they were dealing with you. That situation has gone left. Okay? 
either they've broken up with that person or they're unhappy in that situation. Now that you are in this star energy, they want to get in your energy. They want you to have a bunch of doubts and fears and insecurities about anything good that's happening in your life. This is a trickster spirit. The four of pentacles. What did I say? All this person wants to do is hold on to you. They can't, this person does not want to let your energy go. They don't. King of Cups in the reverse. This person is, is very irrational. They're not trustworthy. And the three of pentacles here in the moon, the signs, something with this eclipse energy is revealing the truth about this person and their collaborations and the things that they have like gathered skills on. The king of cups in the verse on the three of pentacles. This person has mastered, like, a, like this, this same energy comes out every few months. This person has mastered like char being charming, a shapeshifter, seduction, or so it's something that they're doing with your emotions. Where they are trying to, um, like the moon, you know, when you think about the moon, it's it's dark with the sun. They're side by side. This 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 person is is trying to do something to shift you into your shadow side. They they're trying to trigger something in your subconscious thoughts here. For you to block your creativity. Yeah, Page of Cups in the verse and the Queen of Cups in the verse. This person wants to block your creativity and your emotions. The Queen of Cups in the reverse, this part, they're not kind, they're not nurturing. This person is watching you. And what they see is that you the strength card here, you've become very strong, and the five of pentacles is in the reverse. You're coming out of some type of hardship. You're recovering from something that they've already done to you in the dark. Yeah, this, this person is upset because you're coming out of something that they've already done. So this person wanted to be in another situation after deceiving you, left you behind, went into another situation. That situation isn't working out. So they keep an eye on everything happening in your life, sending you the evil eye constantly. But see, they're seeing that there's a shift happening. You're not weak. You're trusting your intuition now. You can recognize, obviously, because this, this reading life was tugging at me. I wasn't planning on doing the reading. I'm going to record this. I'm going to upload it like right away. Somebody needs to hear this, though. It's like this person thought that you were going to always be in this, this trap. I don't know if this person hit you, cursed you, did some type of binding magic, but they thought that you were going to stay in that energy forever. And they would be able to keep using like your, um, your energy to manifest something. But see, this is the emperor with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So everything that this person has built is crumbled. They're going through bad karma. How dare you You sit there? So you're going through bad karma because of what you did to somebody, but you want that person to help you out of your bad karma? Come on. That's how you know that this person is just an energy vampire. They don't care about anything or anyone but themselves. This person does not want to experience bad karma. Look at that idea. This person is thinking of the next scam. And they're here stressing you out or trying to, and they want you to be hesitant about all of your decision making. So if you look, because you have a gift, look at this. You have a gift, alliance, marriage. This person, listen, family, I cannot make this up. And y'all saw me how I just shuffled those cards. This is someone remembering from your past. They are really trying to get you to second guess and doubt like a relationship here. This person is watching you in some kind of way and monitoring you. Look at this, third wheel. This person, they, they're they hiding in your relationship, but they are already in a relationship with someone else. And they're not letting go of the other person we're saving here. This person, they thought they could save you for later, but they're already in a connection with someone else. However, they're trying to get you to second guess and, and doubt everything 
about a relationship that you're meant to be in. There's literally someone here that you're being given as a gift of a trustworthy partner here that you can marry and have a child with or children or blended family, business, whatever. Someone here wants you to be very confused about your decision making. So what this person is doing is you could be having problems with sleeping, straight, like experiencing a lot of stress. Some of you could even be having problems with your vision right now. And this idea card with that light bulb, this person is they're um they're trying to overwhelm you with with energy. They're sending you a lot of negative energy, and this is some kind of like telepathic communication or something that they're doing. It could be when you're relaxing. This person does not want you to relax though. Oh my gosh, like, who is this message for? It's 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 so strong. Look, blind is here. I just said somebody could be having blind um vision problems. This card even said so it's interesting because this card idea says vision and this one says vision problems. Somebody here wants you to be spiritually blind, or this person could be going becoming spiritually blind. That could be what it is. This person, they could be becoming spiritually blind because of what they've done to you. And they're trying to get your energy so that they can see something. They need your energy in order for them to have a certain vision. This person has most likely a vision for their life or whatever, but they need your energy to manifest this. And I keep on, I'm hearing the song, Still your best. This is the second time this week I've channeled um, that artist. I think it's like Giveon, G-I-V-E-O-N. And the other day I heard the song All To Me. Pretty much saying like somebody else pretty much got, got your good thing, took it away from you. <laughs> but now I'm hearing that song, Still Your Best. Let me see. What... Do y'all listen to this person? I'm hearing the song, but like I, I haven't heard. I'm hearing it in my head, but. Oh, yeah. So look, the song starts out saying, are you serious? Are you kidding me? What's the deal? Oh, no. Is this the one that's supposed to take my place? Is this for real? It's almost disrespectful. That's a downgrade and you know it. Still your best. Me. Still your best. When you want to come back. I lay you back on your back and do you just like that. Miss the way that I grabbed it. You know your body knows me. I'm still your back. This is somebody trying to like, I'm telling you, they want to beat down the gates of your sacral energy. Like this person and with that devil card here and the eight of pentacles, this person is doing something even sexually to try and um, manifest your energy in some type of way so that they can rush towards you. The devil and the knight of swords here with the eight of pentacles here. This person is doing something. They're overindulging in something. It could be sex magic or something so that they can get back in your energy. Because what they have realized is that there is some, someone else possibly in your energy. And they're assuming, or and, and you may not even be with anybody. They are assuming though that someone is in your life or in your energy because they can't get into it. For some of you, though, this part, they feel like they are the best for you. Still your best is what the song is called. And they're like, well, whoever you're with, that's a downgrade. You know, you should be with me. But this person here, what we, this person here is in their shadow. The sun and the moon is here. See, you're on a different frequency now. You're in a different timeline. You're not a vibrational match for this person. 
And perhaps you have someone either in your life or coming into your life who is a vibrational match. They don't like that. They're like, you need to be of a lower vibration for, with me. You need to be the high priestess in the reverse so that you can allow me to use your energy. This is just the energy vampire. You need to just protect your energy and know that this is what is trying to get in your energy. We're not going to stay on this long because it's pretty clear here. Look at this. Somebody wants you in a mental prison. I feel like somebody wants you to start slacking and they want you in a mental prison. This person could be a slacker. They, they don't like to do work. They take shortcuts and everything. They're always trapped in their own head. They could have mental health issues, a lot of limiting beliefs. You have your divorce. This could be someone that you are married to or this person... This card says broken relationship, lost connection, or severed ties. This person has lost connection to you. And, and that's the problem. Because they they can no longer get access to your energy. And again, with this sun and moon here, the eclipse was just last week. This person is being eclipsed out of your energy. And they're start they're feeling it now. And because of that, they're noticing. They're slacking. They're in this mental imprisonment. Like this person is going through a tower moment or ego death or some some type of a, something is happening to this person. They they really are feeling the effects of not having your energy. They cannot deny it. They they know that they're they're lo they are losing access because they're losing things. Look, you have here um role model and I'm sorry, gorgeous and role model. See, some of you that's why there's stars out here. You're gorgeous and you're a role model, but this person is always partying and playing games. Look at that role model and the star. This person is always playing games, partying or whatever. And it's like for a lot of you now, you're just done. You're done. Oh, and you know what else? Because I just noticed on all of these cards here, role model gorgeous all itself. I don't know for some of you, this could be oh wow. For some of you, this could be um a person. This could this could be someone that like you work with. Because you have the hierophant upright and the high priestess in the reverse. So, of course, for some of you, this could be someone that you've been in a romantic partnership with. But I'm also, this just hit me. For some of you, this could even be like a reader. That notices that the energy is shifting. This person, they want people to be in a very low frequency or vibration like them. Or this person is pretending that they are of this very divine light and whatever and the truth is is that this person is actually very low vibrational this person could be the, the type that behind the scenes like they are always up to no good oh yeah talk it says talking good stuff it says, um, people like what you got going on, talking about your achievements and accolades. This right here is switching now from, for some of you, it's a relationship situation. But for some of you, you have a very competitive person like in your job or if you're in some type of community. With the Hierophant here, I definitely get like spiritual community or something like that. Somebody knows that you're going towards some type of union or you're being celebrated or Whatever the case is, this person is, is struggling now with, with holding up a facade. Whoever this is, it's different for every person. But the gist of the situation is a lot of you who are pulling your energy back. You have friends, family members, co-workers, colleagues, business partners, lovers that you are possibly entertaining now past people people are starting to recognize that they don't have access to your energy and whatever facade they've been keeping up 
are carrying is becoming very difficult for them to keep it up. So let's say even here, like in the tarot community, the tarot readers who know that they have been stealing everybody else's work, you will notice now them switching all kinds of stuff up and they're 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 bandwagon jumping. You know, they're they're trying to leech off of every reader that they can to form some type of alliance. Gift and alliance. These are bandwagon jumpers. They always need somebody to help, you know, give them the next idea or whatever. It's the same thing with um in relationships. Some of you, you have friends and family members. Every single time they need something, you know, they want you there with them. They got to call you. They, they, they want you to come over. They want you to go somewhere with them. These are, are energy vampires and leeches and bandwagon jumpers. They can't do anything by themselves. They don't have the energy. They don't naturally attract good things. So they have to connect themselves to somebody who can attract good things in order for them to get what they want. And this is someone who is extremely well cloaked. This person is a type like they'll go out and they're always, you know, pretending that they, they are, they're a great supporter. You know, they, they will celebrate you and, oh my goodness, you're so great. They'll give you the shout outs and all of that. And the whole time, there's a, a hidden agenda. This person is not who you think they are. This person is always partying, always playing games, but they show up like they are this gorgeous role model. No. That's a front. That's a facade. I'm picking up different energies. Before I was picking up a masculine, this is more of a feminine energy here. These are people who just like to take shortcuts though. And they feel like they can they can use certain things that they have to get what they want by stealing from other people. Like I said, and it's something here about the art of seduction. You look at your bestie. Somebody who you consider a bestie. The person who is always around you. Oh, this is a this is somebody that is that will betray you. You have here having receipts and nosy and eavesdropping. It says this involves cycles, death and rebirth. Someone's attitude toward attitudes toward change, personal growth, and then ex-lover. So for some of you, like I said, this could be a friend, a family, colleague, it doesn't matter. But this is someone here who has receipts about you or I'm even getting for receipts to be careful. Somebody could be trying to monitor how much money you're spending or trying to see, you know, what your latest pur purchases are. But this is someone that keeps close tabs on you. They want to know all the details of your life. They're always up in your business. They're always asking a lot of questions. They want to know every single detail about your life. This person could be hacking, stalking, spying with eavesdropping here. They really, really want to know what's going on in your life because there is something that has ended here. They want to know what's coming next. For some of you, this is an ex-lover. It could be your ex-lover or the ex-lover or someone that you could be involved with. For some of you, you have ended a situation and maybe you're going into something new and you're choosing to keep it private. You have a lot of people right now they want to know. They only want to know what's going on in your life, though, so that they can sabotage you. Look, it says here, tenth house. This situation involves ambition, their motives, their rank in society, achievements, accolades, social class. Yeah, for some of you, this is a friend. This is someone you trust. I just feel like too, like you could be this gorgeous role model. This is someone here. That's like, they're always talking good about what other people have, but they don't have it. 
This person, so in other words, this is a clout chaser. <laughs> this is a clout chaser. You could be this gorgeous role model. And you know, being gorgeous is not just about physical. You could just, this card says being an inspiration to others, having positive recognition from a lot of people. This is somebody out here that talks a, a good game, but they're always playing games and partying. But they show up like, oh, they're your best friend. Hey, bestie. Hey, sis. Hey, bro. That's this person. This person wants to be like you. And they'll go out and mention things about you only to gain more attention for themselves. Yeah, this is this is different people. This acting a fool here. It says someone who knows they are being childish and goofy but doesn't care when the situation calls for maturity. This person is not mature. They're not mature. They're not wise. They're, they're nothing like how they put on to people. And then you have a masculine energy out here that's very intimidated. So you just have a lot of people. For some of you, this is multiple people. They just carry very bad energy. They're low vibrational people. So apparently someone out like your energy is is ascending at such a, a, a rapid rate and there's so much goodness that's surrounding you right now that these low vibing people who have been in your in your life, in your corner, in your circle, their mask is falling off. So now that you're not stuck, your light is exposing the truth about everybody. Because it could be some people around you like they they could be like this car says balling. It could appear that they have everything. You're not a, you're unimpressed. You don't care what this person has. And it makes sense because in that song, he says, oh, well, that's a downgrade. I'm still your best. This person could think that because of their money, their cars, clothes or whatever, that you will be impressed by them. You're not, especially not if you're a role model. You're a role model. You don't care about this person's money or anything else. So when that happens, y'all, I can't make this up. They start doing divination, spying, and projecting. This is nothing but someone watching tarot readings or something like that. And I just want to say this because I'm going to leave the reading here. I want you guys to really understand the importance of not giving your power to a lot of these situations. I know some people, depending on where they are in their journey, we hear different things and you may not really know what it means. For instance, you know... The term karmic, I was foolishly arguing with somebody in my comments at 1.30 a.m. Because the person said, Tori, I think you're a karmic reader because I said in a reading, it's okay if you're karmic to someone. Well, the reason why I say that is because if you truly understand karma and dharma, then you know that we all have been karmic. What sometimes, it, how terms are used in the, the tarot community is not the only way that some terminology is to be used. To say that you're karmic, you have people who are very low vibrational, and then there are karmic situations that actually are not bad. You know, um, the word karmic carries a very negative connotation. Um, just like karmic reader is is normally seen as something that's negative or offensive. But to be karmic in someone's life at times can simply just mean that you were a lesson for that person or they were a lesson for you, okay? That doesn't mean that you was, you know, this awful person or that someone was awful to you. It seems to me they were a karmic lesson, you know? Um, so I just wanted to say that. But also, too, going back to certain things like, for instance, energy swapping, okay? Energy swapping, destiny swapping. Because those terms come up and some people know what it is and some don't. What I've noticed is that during this major awakening that has happened, a lot of people, me, you, you know, other readers or whomever, gifts have gotten significantly stronger, allowing people to channel more stuff, see and hear and understand more. Okay. There are readings. And as I said before, there are a lot of things sometimes that I can channel that I won't share here on this platform because it's not for this collective. 
If I'm channeling things about celebrities, I don't really need to come here and share it because it has nothing to do with you all that are watching. That's just where I am. And let, let me just break some stuff down. And to me, I feel like you have a lot of people who have been in the space of being, you know, Claire, Claire Cognizant or Clairvoyant. You know, a lot of readers are just extremely intuitive. Not every reader is a channeler. Not every reader is a medium. Not every reader is a psychic. And then you have people who actually have a prophetic gift. For me, the way I feel is a psychic can go out and tell you information about anything, anyone. When you have the gift of prophecy and God speaks to you, you have to understand that when God himself comes and speaks to you, the level of obedience and integrity that is required because God can give me a message about a lot of different things and God can also tell me you are not to say a word about it. People who are, are psychic or, or who are even prophet, have a prophetic gift and they misuse and abuse it, they feel like they can just talk about anything. There's a lot of things that I may want to reveal, but if I reveal them, it may delay someone from getting justice because the same way good people are listening your enemies are listening too. And a lot of the information that is being spread is giving your enemy way more power than what they need. Because all you're doing is telling them every day what you know. Right? Let me touch on this thing about energy swapping or destiny swapping and say something else. A lot of people are under pressure. Oh my goodness, you know, everybody's trying to sacrifice me or whatever. Let me just say this. And this is this is not to be to minimize anyone or throw any shade. A lot of these things that we tend to see sometimes in the readings, most people here don't have money for it. I said it. You can't just go and set and, and, and sacrifice somebody. Okay. Everybody is not in a in a coven, everybody is not in a secret society, and it's not necessarily that easy to even get. The, the tools and the resources to do that. I don't think that people really know the type of energy that is required for those type of things to happen. Okay? So, you don't need to worry so much about some of those things happening because just because you are hearing it in readings, it doesn't mean that it's happening to you. When you hear things like energy swapping, let me give you an example. Of, of what I consider energy or destiny swapping. You have the people who, you know, get deep into the witchcraft and rituals and all of that. But energy swapping can be, or destiny swapping, can be something as simple as a person calling a psychic, a medium, a tarot reader, an astrologer, whomever, especially close friends and family and those of you in the spiritual community where you're dealing with other people who are also well-versed in, you know, spirituality and divination. Person calls a reader or an astrologer and they have your name, your birthday, and they happen to know where you were born. They get access to your natal chart. They call someone, talk to the reader, and they give that person your name, your birth date, and everything. Well, now, if the reader is not a psychic, if the reader is not very discerning, the reader is going to give them a reading based on the information that they gave them. Meaning the reader is going to tell them everything about your birth chart, okay? So if you are the type of person you're really into astrology, let's say someone reads your birth chart and it says, yeah, you know, it looks like here there's going to be a transit on this moon and at this time and you very well can meet the person that's the love of your life in the next um, three months. Well, whoever this person is that is completely jealous, envious, and obsessed with you, what they will start to do is they will burn candles and, and do their moon rituals for the next three months to bring you chaos, conflict, confusion. Okay? Pay attention. I myself have stopped trying to track moons because... I don't like to be in the mindset that, oh, it's a new moon or it's a full moon. Somebody is attacking me. I don't even, I don't want to focus on me. Your spiritual hygiene is so important because you just need to always be ready so you don't have to get ready. 
But these are the, that's an example of energy swapping. People will go, y'all, on Etsy or to their local metaphysical shop. They will spend a hundred dollars on candles or, or or whatever herbs, and they will attack you all year. These attacks, these kitchen witches and stuff. It's not hard for them to do the things that they're doing. It's working for a lot of people because you're just simply not aware. Most people are so busy listening to these stories and looking for awareness, but you're not actually targeting the situation that is coming directly at you. I don't know why I'm, I, I'm speaking because I know how this evil eye works because I've been a victim of it. It's, it's still happening to me. I just shared my testimony a few days ago. So I know. What these people are doing is they are calling readers and stuff and they're giving your name and your information to try to figure out what's coming near you. If this is a friend or a family member, they all, they know the name of your person and they probably even know their birthday. These people, they'll go on Facebook or social media and they will look for, well, when is this person's birthday? You know, with the internet now, people will go and they will literally find all the information that they need about you for them to go to a reader and get the information that they want. And at that point, because they are so obsessed, they will begin to live their life almost as if they are you. That is the energy of obsession. This person will watch tarot readings every single day that are related to you and your your person or your situation to me that's that's like the, an example of energy swap and destiny swap because what they will do is by getting information a lot of free information actually because you have tarot readings here uh, and a lot of people they read tarot for themselves or whatever the case may be they're getting so much information about your life and they can't actually stop what's destined for you but they will continuously send so much chaos and conflict to you that you yourself will start to destroy your own destiny because you will start to get so conflicted, so confused with all of this chaos that it'll almost be impossible for you to trust yourself and follow your own intuition. That's their goal. So you need to be careful with who you are allowing around you and exchanging energy with. Um, I only ma I make references to things in the tarot community because I'm here in the tarot community. When you see some breeds like this, they're bandwagon jumpers. To me, any reader, any person at all that's always in somebody else's energy, I, I, uh, uh. I don't trust it at all. Because when you get so obsessed with another person, their story, their energy, you will begin to take on that person's energy, whether consciously or unconsciously. And some people are setting intentions for that. There are some people out here who they know a person is a role model and they're talking good stuff, but behind the scenes, they're always lying, playing games, and partying, but they're and acting a fool, but they're pretending that they're your bestie. And that's only for them to get more information. You got a lot of people that's pretending that they, they like you, they support you. It's only for them to get more information and, and for them to, in so many ways, try to become more like you because they see that you have a natural aura, a natural light about yourself that they don't have. But if they, let's be honest, if they watch you, if they listen to you, if they follow you, if they hang out with you enough, they can then begin to take on your persona. That's energy swapping. They will start to act so much like you and do the things that you do so that the things that you attract, they, they, they hope to attract the same things. So let's say you start to wear your hair a certain way and you get compliments before you know it. This person, they're, they're doing the same thing. You know, you see it with readers. One, one reader starts to do something before you know it. A few weeks or a few months later, another reader is doing the same thing. Now, you know, you know, it's nothing wrong. You, you, you can see when some people are just changing things up. They're rebranding. 
Like I said, everybody is going through, you know, spring cleaning and changing, but this is a copycat energy. And I feel like it's becoming harder for people to hide how much they are copying other people. This is going to become painfully obvious to some of you soon that you have a person around you connected to you and so on that literally is trying to be just like you. They're not going to come out and tell you that or admit it, of course, but just pay attention. They're trying to be just like you. It reminds me of a Scorpio reading that I did a long time ago. A Scorpio could be of significance when I was doing Zodiac readings. And I it was, I think the reading is called the Midas versus the Miser. Somebody out here, like I said, is a is a role model naturally, high priestess or hierophant. You got another person that's trying to do the same thing that you're doing because they want money, they want attention, or whatever. And they're they could be. The high priestess or the hierophant in the reverse, they don't have any type of integrity. They don't actually believe in the morals or the values or any of the stuff that they're talking about or preaching on their channel. They don't really have an intuition or a gift, but because they're studying you and other people so much, it appears that way. I, again, like here in the tarot, I see some readers who have a thousand subscribers. They, their, their channel hasn't even started making money yet, and they're powerful. They are gifted. And you have people out here who have two and 300,000 subscribers that are literally stealing all of their work and driving their numbers up. The smaller YouTubers, are, are their videos aren't getting in rotation at all. Some of you can relate to, you know, you're doing the work. You're not getting your blessing because you got somebody out here that's stealing your ideas and your energy trying to act as if it's their own. And because maybe they know more about stealing energy than you do because I, you don't steal energy, it seems like they're winning. This is going to end. The sun and the moon came out. Those two cars don't typically come out together. Something that somebody is doing in the dark, it will be revealed. 100%. These people that are wearing these masks, pretending that they are so, so holy, so, so righteous, so divine or whatever, that's, no. Eventually, they will be caught up. And then you have these ex-lovers that's out here. These people are seeing that you're moving into stable, secure, and new beginnings. And because they're stuck somewhere and they're still in the dark and you're going towards the sun energy, they are sending bad vibes and energy and evil eyes to you because they want you to be at a frequency where they can match up with you. Look, evidence. And look, it's hooked. Addicted to someone or something. And this, this card actually has two women on it. It's a woman out here that is, is completely obsessed with another woman. 